If you own a dry suit, this presentation should be interesting. Dry suits keep water out, but the critical openings at the neck and wrists are sealed by gaskets which are uncomfortable and might rip apart. Most dry suits for kayaking use latex gaskets, but neoprene is an alternative material. The following slides show benefits of neoprene over latex gaskets. You can be more comfortable in a dry suit with neoprene gaskets. When it comes to replacing them, you can save money by making and installing them yourself. If you have a latex gasket, you probably experienced one of these before. It rips when you're suiting up at the launch, and if it doesn't rip, it's hard to push your head into it. Then you feel like it's choking your neck. Your neck is raw after paddling. The gasket needs to be replaced after about a year and you have to wash a dry suit, send it to Kolkatat, pay them lots of money and wait three weeks. With neoprene, they're not likely to rip when suiting up and it's easy to put your head in and out of it. It's also comfortable on your neck and sizable to your body. It'll last longer than latex and a lot cheaper. Insulation, typically less than one day and there's minimal leakage even in rolling and surfing. The best way to obtain neoprene is to get friends together to buy a sheet which yields six to eight gasket sets of a neck and two wrists. That's about $10 per set. The template should be cut from stiff paper like manila folder stock. The upper curve forms the opening for the neck or wrist and the lower curve conforms to the opening at the dry suit. Typically about one inch is glued to the dry suit. The two sides are the edges that are joined by contact glue and seam tape. The upper curve length depends on the body measurement. Take the neck circumference, subtract three and a half inches or so, and create the curve to match that length. To satisfy the curve length, the corners may move in or out, or the curve can dip closer or farther from the bottom. This is the wrist template. Just make the curve path above one inch less than your wrist circumference. Cut out the pattern, then apply contact glue to both edges. To join, place the gasket with fabric side up on a pipe or narrow flat bar. Start where the shop corners are and bring the edges together. If there is an overhanging piece at the bottom, simply cut off the material to make a smooth curve. Wait a few hours for the glue to cure. Then place the gasket with fabric side up over a pipe or flat bar. Center the Melco seam tape and then iron. Pull test the joint. Re-iron the seam tape if it lifts off the gasket fabric. The gasket can be installed in the same way that latex gaskets are done. There is a procedure published by Cocotet. You can also access the gasket installation PDF file from the Basque website. Here are links to the raw materials. Also, I believe Don Goss originated the techniques described in this presentation.